Much like last year's finals, Kyrie saves the day for the Cavs against the Mighty Warriors, and Cleveland gets the 109 to 108 win on Christmas. This got us thinking. Is Kyrie or Dwayne Wade LeBron's best teammate ever? We asked you folks on Twitter, and here are the results 51% say Wade, 49% said Kyrie. What do you think, Max? Oh, I understand why they pick Wade, because Wade at his best mm -hmm. was a better player so far than Kyrie is. I mean, Wade, who was the best player in the finals since a prime Michael Jordan, and that includes Shaq and Kobe. Like, Wade had a finals performance against Dallas that year that was unlike anything since a prime Michael Jordan. But that was pre-LeBron. That was before LeBron. While LeBron was there, Wade was something less than he'd been. And... Kyrie is something less than he'll probably eventually be, but if you, but I think they're in similar places. Kyrie on the way up, Wade on the way down, when LeBron played with them. And in that case, I'll take the ascending player over the descending player. And one more thing, Stephen A., Wade and LeBron had an alpha issue when, when LeBron got to the team. Wade was the alpha of the team, and LeBron had to defer. And furthermore, I don't know if LeBron's personality was ready yet and his experience was ready yet to be the alpha on a championship team. So the chemistry wasn't just right. But LeBron is in his glory right now in that respect. From the psychological point of view, he owns the league, and he's ready to be alpha with a young Kyrie. And he's also ready to set Kyrie up offensively for those last two minutes that you always talk about. So I think all things considered, Kyrie is in fact the best teammate LeBron's ever had. He's not the best teammate LeBron ever had. Dwayne Wade is. Um, but it has nothing to do with talent. It has everything to do with where LeBron James was and what he required in order to get him to where he is. If we're looking at youth mm -hmm. combined with skill, of course you go the direction of Kyrie because Kyrie is so young. But look at what he's already capable of doing on the basketball court. But let's understand that if it wasn't for the leadership that the greatness of LeBron James provided, there would have been no Kyrie Irving in the NBA Finals because he wouldn't have gotten there. Whereas in the case of Dwayne Wade, it was actually in reverse. What happened is LeBron got there because LeBron didn't know how to win. LeBron got to Miami, and it was Dwayne Wade's leadership combined with Pat Riley's leadership that ultimately elevated LeBron James in terms of peeling the greatness out of him. LeBron James had the talent. LeBron James put forth the, the, you know, the requisite skill set that we all sat up and behold it with or a lot of different times. But ultimately, he didn't know how to get it done, evidenced by those four fourth quarters in the finals. But you're changing the, the question. I'm not changing the yeah, question. Yeah, like as a teammate, that's great that he imparted that to LeBron or helped but by the following season when LeBron had taken over the universe Dwayne Wade was a diminished player he significantly missed 30, he missed 33 games that year but part of it well I'm, I'm giving you the insider's perspective I'm telling you that LeBron's first year when they lost to the Mavericks when they lost to the Mavericks that year it wasn't just have, having lost to the Mavericks it's what he went through mm -hmm. during the offseason, what he went through during the season. When he was ultimately down 3-2 the following year when they finally won the chip, he was down 3-2 to Boston, and he dropped 45-15 and 15 in that game six where everybody and their mother counted him out. That dude that looked like a man possessed that night, that was a product of everything that he had reaped from being in Miami with D. Wade and with Pat Riley. So I'm saying that had it not been for that experience, we don't know if we would have ever seen the LeBron James that we're seeing right now. And as, as a result, we don't know if we ever would have gotten the opportunity to see Kyrie on right. display. That, makes, that may why. make Dwayne Wade a more important teammate in terms of LeBron James' career trajectory. Well, if it's but more in terms important, of the best guy he's played with, LeBron, when he didn't have Kyrie, couldn't get past Golden State. And then the following year, when he had Kyrie, beat the greatest regular season team ever down 3-1, came back on him, and Kyrie was a huge part of that. And now we see already that 73-win team looks like it maybe on paper got even better, and we're all like, damn, they still well, again, might not again, get past uh, the Cavs. Again, we're debating things, but it's, 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 on, it's in two different realms, which is why I can't say I disagree with you. I'm just in a different place. And what I mean by that is that I remember when there was acrimony. 
supposedly between the LeBron and Kyrie. There was whether or not who was going to be the alpha dog. Just like Kobe wasn't interested in being Shaq. LeBron and Wade, you mean? No, no, no. I'm going LeBron to Kyrie. and Kyrie. I'm going to Kyrie okay. LeBron because I'm saying just like Kobe didn't want to be Shaq's little brother, Kyrie, when he signed his contract extension, he thought he was going to be the man. And then all of a sudden, LeBron James says, I'm coming back to Cleveland. And they were trying to figure things out. Now, he got hurt in that first finals, but even in year two, even when they were coming together and what have you, there were still so many questions. But because of the things that LeBron James had learned in becoming a champion, that elevated him to the leader that he we ultimately saw, and that was what ultimately benefited Kyrie. So I'm simply saying to you is that if you're talking talent, I'm going to take a younger talented version of Kyrie Irving over the older, talented This is and what's so great about of, LeBron. Of Dwayne Wade. I, I want to mention, I agree. This is what's so great about LeBron James. You imagine coming to a team, you're LeBron James. You're better than everyone on planet Earth by a factor of something. Kyrie in his prime on his best day will never be half as good as LeBron is right now, and Kyrie will be a hall, in, the, in the Hall of Fame one day. He's a great player. He'll never, ever, he has no shot at reaching current LeBron levels, ever. It's just no, no knock against Kyrie. That's the level LeBron's on. And yet you come to this team, and this young kid who's never even been on a winning team has the nerve to think it should be his team with another kind of personality that can backfire. With LeBron, LeBron winds up basically being the distributor oftentimes, right. being the ball. And Kyrie benefits from that at the end of games. He's the hero. But because of LeBron's personality, so focused on winning championships, he elevates everyone yeah, around him, including breath, Kyrie. But in the same breath that you give LeBron that praise, you ignore that Le Dwayne Wade deserves similar praise because when LeBron arrived and they had lost to Dallas, one of the first things that Dwayne Wade said is that, look, he's the best player in the world. He has to accept that he's the best, and he has to lead Credit it. Dwayne you know, Wade for that. Let me ask you this. Why didn't he do that when LeBron first got there, when it was clear well, because, he was better than Wade? Because he was trying to, and LeBron didn't want didn't it. Didn't want it? Okay. So, so the point is, LeBron didn't I'll want accept it. accept that. And they had to get to a point where LeBron was willing to say, yo, okay, this is my show. I am the man, and this is the way it's going to be. This is something that was going on for a long time. It was. That's why even though you got Randy Mims, Maverick Carter, Rich Paul, and they will forever be LeBron's crew. Even though he's tight with a CP3's godfather of his children, even though he's tight with a mellow, there's a special bond that he appears to have with D-Wade. Why? Because he recognizes that if it wasn't for D-Wade being selfless and willing to step back and push him to be all he could be without any animosity, any jealousy, or anything like that, he may have never gotten to this point. So if we appreciate what LeBron has meant to Kyrie, we can't ignore what D-Wade meant to and LeBron. And now consider LeBron's first decision that everyone derided, right? He intuitively understood or maybe understood through experience with Dwayne Wade that that guy is the right guy to partner with if I want to get to where I want to be in my career. Um, and and I, 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 I'll take your word for it that LeBron didn't want it at first, even as Wade was pushing it. Or because either, from the outside... didn't want it or didn't know how to take it. Okay, because right. from the outside, the question was... That, that was the question. Does LeBron just not want it, or is Wade not willing to give it up? You know, it was never a question of Wade not willing to give it up. Because Wade wanted LeBron desperately because he knew what he couldn't be. He's like, I'm playing with the best player in the world. And he's telling them, take it, it's yours. We concede. There is nothing to debate here. You are that dude. Take it. And it worked out because it had to. rings with both of them. Yeah. We will leave it there. Coming up next, Mike Zimmer, did you all see this? Cannot be too happy after some of his defensive players decided to go rogue early in Saturday's game. What should their punishment be? Plus, the Broncos eliminated from the playoffs last night, but should John Elway and company get a pass for this season? Stay tuned.